Well, it is no secret that teachers are some of the hardest working people in the U.S. And now there is an easy way to show our appreciation. Keep watching. Well, it's estimated that each public school teacher spends more than $500 of their own money on classroom supplies every year. Well, one teacher's idea sparked a nonprofit that now helps teachers across the country. For the next few weeks, your vote can help classrooms both nationwide and here at home. Joining us now to explain exactly what you can do is Charles Best from DonorsChoose.org and Christy Woodworth of Sonic Drive-In. Thank you both for joining me this morning. Thank you, Heather. Hi, Heather. So, Charles, you actually started this website, DonorsChoose.org, while you were teaching in the Bronx. Tell us about the inspiration behind this nonprofit. For sure. Well, when I was teaching history at this high school in the Bronx, my colleagues and I would spend a lot of our own money on school supplies. And we would often talk about books that we wanted our students to read, a field trip we wanted to take them on, a pair of microscopes we needed to do a science experiment. And I just figured there were people out there who'd want to help teachers like us if they could see exactly where their money was going. So with the help of my students, we created a website, DonorsChoose.org, where public school teachers could create classroom project requests, and donors could choose the projects that they wanted to support, and then hear back from the classroom that they chose to help. And this is the model which is now powering an awesome partnership with Sonic Drive-In called Limeades for Learning. I love that. I love that you can actually go online and see exactly where those dollars are going and helping those teachers nationwide, as we said. Now, Christy, Sonic has actually teamed up with DonorsChoose.org for seven years now. Tell us about that learning initiative that you're involved in. We're so excited to have our seventh campaign with DonorsChoose.org this year. Our Limeades for Learning program is really designed to give our customers and fans and your viewers the power to tell us where to donate those dollars. So your viewers can go to LimeadesForLearning.com and search for a project. They can look for projects in Tucson or if there's a subject matter or keyword that they're interested in they can search by that as well and all they have to do is click the green button that says vote and they can share their votes on social media to rally support behind those teachers and get those get the classroom funded um, and come to Sonic Drive-In. You know, we love Tucson and we'll give you a few more incentives to vote. And by October 18th, we will have funded more than half a million dollars this year. We'll, vote, we'll fund projects each week. Those projects receiving the most votes get funded every week. Amazing. Well, Christy, Tucson loves Sonic, so this works out perfectly. I love how easy it is to vote, and I do know that there are some Tucson schools that have been approved for this, so this is absolutely the best time for our viewers to go ahead and go vote. Now, what are some of those items that teachers are requesting? Well, Tucson teachers are requesting resources ranging from books to uh, math and reading center supplies to uh, headphones for read-along books, and, and these projects show not just the needs of Tucson classrooms, but the innovation and the imagination of Tucson public school teachers. Absolutely. And Charles, as a teacher yourself, tell us, why is it so important that we have these, the right equipment and the right tools in our classrooms for the kids to learn? Well, teachers need more than chalk and textbooks to get students really excited about the subject matter. Uh, students these days need uh, hands-on project-based learning to really get engaged with the subject matter. So if you're a teacher and you're teaching biology, you might want your students to hatch butterfly cocoons. If you are a math teacher, you might want to do a cooking recipe with your students so they can see how math concepts apply in daily life. These are the resources that teachers request funding for at donors choose.org and these are the resources that people can now provide in their own local classrooms by casting votes at limeadesforlearning.com. Well, I love it. We're definitely going to encourage all of our viewers to go get online and vote today. Thank you both so much for joining me. One more time before I let you go, where do we go for more information and to vote? Just head over to limeadesforlearning.com. You can pull out your cell phone and do it right now and cast a vote and support a teacher. You heard her. Pull out those cell phones and those laptops and vote. I want to thank you both so much for joining me. Have a great morning. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, you too. And we will be back with more after a short break. Stay with us.